Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm with Amy, and we're going to minister to 10 people. So, if you also would like to receive ministry, please write your name in a comment, and we would love to minister to you. I got a running list, and every time someone writes their name in the comments, I just put it on the list, and I'm keeping uh, on ministering to people as they ask for ministry. Okay, so the first person I want to minister to uh, is Anthony. Okay, so Anthony, uh, what the Lord was showing to me is how he's giving you keys to bring unity in your family and I actually saw how the Lord is just empowering you and he's making you like a, a center figure that love everyone that so seeds into people's lives and you bring them together and I actually saw uh, your family and Leslie and even uh, some of your spiritual friends and family all of them there comes unity and the Lord says that gate of unity is going to open up the heavens above you for the blessing of God to come upon you and I felt that the Lord is saying you are a unifier All right. the Lord loves you very much uh, Anthony God bless you Amen God bless you Anthony God loves you this next word is for Vincent Vincent the Lord loves you very much and I just really feel God is giving you wisdom but I just feel the Lord is also giving you wisdom and fire um, if I could describe the picture I saw I just, I just felt how God has really um, placed this fire upon your life and I just feel there's a lot of things that was quiet and you know like in a winter time is like an hibernation but I just feel the Lord says spring is coming this is the new season a new harvest is coming and I'm preparing you for it and I just feel the Lord says now is the time um, I, I just feel God is really breaking off the chains of delay off of your life and he's really opening up doors of victory financial victory and also so much wisdom for the next few steps you need to take God loves you and he's really gonna bless you and your family God bless you hey, Vincent the Lord shows me um, metal of steel that was melted uh, and then the Lord pours that steel out into a mold and I felt that the Lord says he is making you more to look like God wow. and to have the wisdom and the glory of God in your life God bless you Vincent uh, so uh, David uh, the Lord shows me uh, these uh, columns uh, and those columns are holding up a, a first floor and on the first floor is written floor of success and I felt that this floor of success cannot stand unless every one of the columns um, are in place. And I felt that the Lord says that He is first building you up so that every area of your life is full. So, it's, you know, when you think of your baker cake, every one of those ingredients, it doesn't matter how little or how much of, of those ingredients are in a cake, every part of the cake is very important. If you don't put salt in the cake, if you don't put in the the eggs or the or the milk or whatever the the element is of the cake it's not going to work and i just felt that the lord says that he wants you to have success in your life but he's building each one of those columns each ingredient in your life and then once they are all reached that top level then the lord installed the floor of success and then you're going to build on top of that again god bless you amen the next word is for ellen ellen god loves you so much and god is completely restoring and healing your body there's so much healing that God is doing in your life and I just see how you're um, by God's feet just like that woman that put perfume on Jesus feet and washed it uh, wiped it with her hair I just see how you're be before Jesus' feet and how he picks you up and loves you at this time and the Lord says lay down all your thoughts before me I just see how you just give all your thoughts to him and how he fills you up with new hope and I also really feel how God has called you to be compassionate don't let the enemy me steal the compassion and the love within your heart. I just see how you are really um, waving like this flag of, of forgiveness and the soft sweetness of God and saying I choose compassion and, and God's peace and God will fight for me. God loves you so much Ellen. God bless you. Hey Ellen, God bless you. Um, uh, let me just say something Ellen. Uh, I saw your family as sheep and now uh, they wanted to come a, a, a wolf among the sheep to come and harm the sheep uh, but I saw how uh, Jesus was the shepherd and how he used his rod to to hit the wolf and to uh, in essence deter them to to go away again and I just felt that the Lord says that he is protecting your family and although evil has tried to come a few times into the family uh, when you guys surrender to Jesus and you allow him to be the shepherd in your life then he will uh, take away that that elements of danger. I say, God bless you, Elon. Okay, so the next one is for Alida. Okay, so Alida, uh, I was praying for you already earlier today, and the Lord showed me the fire of God shining in your eyes. 
And I really felt that the Lord says, I'm just increasing that level of passion and love that you have for Jesus. And I saw the sword of the Spirit coming out of you. And the Lord said to me, it's important for you to memorize scriptures. And even in your daily conversation with people, students, teachers, family members, to use that scriptures and let them come out of your mouth like a sword. Because that's going to frame the environment around you so that the blessing of God can rest upon you. And I just felt that the Lord says, there's a lot of negative voices around you, but you are a light that shines and you are a positive voice. And that sort of the spirit, you know, what did the Lord say to Samuel? He said, not one word that you speak will fall onto the ground. And I felt that the Lord says, as you declare God's word in everyday situations, then not one word that you speak will fall to the ground, but will go out and will fulfill uh, the, the word of the Lord in your life. God bless you, Alida. Amen. God bless you, Alida. God loves you. This next word is for Charles. Charles, God loves you so much. Um, the picture God showed me for you was how God has called you to be a fish of men and how the Lord has given you um, a message and God has called you just to um, um, really be a leader and to minister to a lot of people. Uh, I saw a picture of how you were like, wherever you went, there was just um, rivers of living water flowing through you that love the wisdom, the glory of God, um, a lot of counsel and order, and I and I also saw a picture of how um, um, there were even like cameras around, and how um, that you're going to be involved in getting with, with miracles, and that things will be recorded. So I don't know if it's going to be through a camera, or you're going to write it down, um, or, or maybe even share it. But I just feel the Lord says it's important for you to not only pray, but to go out in faith take action, um, walk through the Holy Spirit, but also record um, the amazing things that the Lord does through your life. And I and I really feel that you, the Lord is really giving you a lot of, um, and I feel He's already has done a lot of miracles in your life, but I feel there's a lot more miracles that are going to come and, and you are going, God is calling you to speak that out, uh, to build other people's faith. God loves you so much, Charles. God has such a big plan for you. God bless you. Hey, Charles, the Lord, give me a word. You are a planter. And I felt you must consistently plant seeds. Mm -hmm. And you plant financial seeds. You plant words that you speak. Words of encouragement uh, in people's lives and families' lives. Even in colleagues. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that you're going to plant continuously. And you're going to reap continuously. But a lot of the harvest that, of what you're planting today will only be reaped by the next generation. And so you're actually sowing a seed for the next generation to come forth. Uh, especially in your family. Yes. Oh, God bless you, Charles. So, uh, honor me. Uh, the Lord showed me healing that is bringing to your physical body. Uh, and then the Lord showed me your mouth and how the Lord heals the inside of your mouth and around your mouth. And you know, how He touches your eyes uh, so that your eyes are not tired, that they can focus and they can see clearly. And I just felt that the Lord is doing a work of healing. And then the Lord started speaking about healing your mouth also in the spirit. And I saw sometimes words came out of your mouth. That's contrary to what God was saying. And I saw that the Lord is washing you clean with His blood. And He's just giving you the wisdom to in every situation speak the very words of God. And I felt that you're going to sometimes be in a situation where things are happening uh, that's not God's plan. And you're going to speak the word and where there was darkness, the light that comes out of you is going to disperse the darkness yes. and bring the order of God into your life and even into your family. And so that's why the Lord wants to use you to speak. And I just saw like, like the Lord touches and He heals your mouth, He heals your teeth, every, every part of your, of, of your mouth. All right. uh, I also thought with the spiritual year, uh, in Hebrew this is uh, still the year of the mouth. Okay. Uh, and I believe that the Lord says He's also going to heal your year. It's going to give you a year in which you're going to prosper. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Jacqueline. Jacqueline, God loves you very much and God is covering you with the blood of Jesus. I just see how the Lord has given you a shield, a sword, and the Lord says, I'm protecting you. And I see how God has given you an assignment and look, it, while I pray for you, it just felt like you're like this decorator. You really know how to make a place beautiful. But the picture was, there was a lot of opinions and you had all these banners that you needed to, you know, those uh, uh, streamers that you needed to um, put on the wall and make the place beautiful because you're preparing for a feast, a celebration. And, and it's like a very exciting event and you're in charge of this but I saw a lot of people were telling you okay you got to do it like that you got to do it like this and I just and you even would go like watch I don't know YouTube videos how do I do this and I just feel how the Lord says I've given you the Holy Spirit I'm with you there is only a way that I've called you to do it that you can do it and I just see how and the Lord says don't live in stress when you decorate that room whatever you do do it for the glory of
of God. Do it with joy in your heart. And also know that God is so proud of you. Whatever way you, you do it, if, if it's from your heart, it is, if it's through the through just spending time with the Holy Spirit, it's going to be right. So I just feel the Lord sees He's with you and you don't need to go out to, don't listen to all the voices and all the noise, listen to the Holy Spirit and God will send you people in your life that's going to speak to you. But I just feel purely God says that remain in my peace, don't stress, I'm with you and you're going to make the place beautiful. I hope this word makes sense, God bless you. All right, Jacqueline, I felt that the Lord is going to sharpen your prophetic gifting. So I'm sure you've already prophesied to people and there is an overflow of God's spirit in your life. And I just felt the Lord is going to help you to be more accurate and more on the core issue of what God wants to speak to people around you. So when you feel that unction to share with people what, what God says, just say, say to them, this is what I feel, this is what I sense and share it with them. Uh, sometimes when we say God says, then you really lock yourself in. Because if you're not sure, then you might say God says, but God didn't say it. So when we start in the prophetic, it's usually better just to start with, you know what, I was praying for you and I just felt that or I sensed that. It's a, it's, a, it's a better way to start until you get confidence. But I felt the Lord is sharpening your prophetic gifting. All right, Jacqueline, God bless you. So Manuel, um, the Lord showed me that you went through a hurricane season. And I remember when I used to live in America, they would say October is always hurricane season there in Florida. And so we must always watch out. And, and actually while I was there, there was probably two or three really intense hurricanes where we lived. And it uh, brought damage to our house and our property. And I felt that the Lord says that you went through hurricane season. But the Lord said the tide has turned. The, the, the hurricane season is over and the Lord is coming to help you to rebuild and to restore everything that that hurricane tried to, to bring against you. And you know, the hurricane is sometimes uh, circumstances, it could be the enemy, it could be uh, whatever. But the, the thing is that the Lord says this is a time to build and to restore. And I also felt that the Lord says that you need to keep on speaking God's word and plant seeds in the lives of those around you, in your family, in your marriage, in, in your business, in every area. Just keep on speaking uh, and declaring God's word and you will see the tide will turn. So the tide turns first like this. It's first, God says, I got a tide turn. But you say, but I haven't seen it yet. God says, the tide has turned. And then you start to act in obedience and then you see the manifestation. And I felt that the Lord says, don't walk in faith. Don't worry if you see the manifestation. Keep being obedient to God and speaking God's word, you'll see the manifestation of the restoration and his bringing to you. God bless you. Amen. This next one is for Carolina. Carolina, I just see how you before God and you just give a you just give him a fragrance of your worship. And I see how the Lord is raising you up to be um, just a worshiper and to lead other people into worship. And I, I saw how God gave you a staff and how um, you have like the small herd of sheep. But I just feel how the Lord says because you're faithful the little I will um, I'll I'll expand and give you more. And I just see how more sheep start coming. But I just feel Lord Lord is just like placing so much peace in your life and then the more sheep come it's like God provides more water the grass gets greener supernatural things happen with provision so I just feel the Lord says I will look after you and I will look after the things that you are looking after I just feel the Lord is saying to you we're a team and I'm doing this with you and then lastly I I, um, I just saw I don't know if you're a painter or a writer but I just see how God is going to give you um, prophetic dreams or just just moments with him and, and that you're going to write down or paint or even sing I, I but it's going to be very it's a very creative expression and i just feel the lord is really good you're going to really have a beautiful encounters of god that god is calling you to i don't know write paint sing it, um yeah god loves you so much carolina god bless you the carolina i saw you at this complex and you had a visitor's card uh, and so that card allowed you to go in and out but then I saw you get like a permanent residence card. And so that is like add your name on, you registered. You, it's not like they can stop your visiting time, you now there. And I just felt that the Lord says that level of acceptance, uh, that uh, stability, uh, being planted, being permanent, that's what the Lord is also going to bring into your life. I say, God bless you, Carolina. Uh, family, it was such a pleasure for us to minister to you. So um, I want to encourage you, if you listen to his words um, and uh, something stood out, you can write it down, pray about it and receive it. Remember, God is not the respecter of persons. He might uh, give a word to someone else and you can say, Lord, I also want that. And the Lord will give it to you. He can come to the God in faith and he, he, you know, when he declares something, then he can say, but well, that's for me also. That's why we read the Bible. We read promises that God made to 
to um, David in the Psalms, and then we say, Lord, you know, you were David's shepherd, but you're my shepherd too. So I receive that word. So we can re receive words that the Lord is speaking. Uh, 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 me and Amy love and appreciate each one of you. And uh, if you would like to receive a word, just write it, your name in the comments. God bless you. Let's stop and start. Are we going to do it again? Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, let me just... just um... Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.